Let's check this out. Nice. We're live on Twitch. We're waiting on sensor tube. And sensor tube just kicked in and we're waiting on rumble. Looks like there's five people waiting on rumble. I don't know how many people are on Twitch. Oh, there's just me on Twitch right now. And we don't have the numbers for uh, sensor tube yet. So we'll give everyone uh, a little time to roll in and uh, wait until uh, uh, the live stream kicks in. Elder God, first blood. Nice, nice, nice. Real Xenomorph. Good evening there. Good evening, good evening. Hope you're doing well, Xenomorph. Uh, yeah, sensor tube is live. Twitch is definitely live. And we're just waiting on Rumble. And uh, and we're off to the races. Jarring honey, jarring honey, jarring honey. And we're gonna make some uh, some garlic honey with ginger and stuff like this um, in the two big jars. I don't know if you see them, they're over there. They're over there. I'll bring them over and show them to you guys. Uh, do our little intro. Oh, there's Rumble. Rumble just kicked in as well. Salutations, Rumble. Salutations, Rumble. And we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. Nice. Let me bring out the chat for sensor tube. Gang, I'm Chicho. Welcome to our live stream. Today, today is December 5th, 2023. We're almost at the end of the year. Almost at the end of the year. And... Uh, hoping it's going to be a nice chill a couple of months uh, i think the world needs a little quiet time but we'll see i don't think it's going to go too quiet tell you the truth i think things are going to amplify a little bit uh, but we'll see where it goes but we'll see where it goes for us we're going to be doing our thing we're going to do food we're going to do mapping we're going to do politics we're going to do economics we'll do relationships and we're gonna get into doing math. We're gonna get into doing math. Uh, Real Xenomorph, everyone well, doing good, doing good. Uh, I got word, um, I gave a little update uh, regarding uh, math and stuff in the last stream uh, a couple of days ago and I just got word from uh, the institution that uh, uh, we're on pause, I'm on pause with them. So that means I can start rolling out the online math stuff more which is fantastic peaky blinders salutations nice show heavy show first from cardiff cardiff fear is the mind killer indeed elder god dune quote one of the greatest quotes in human history fear is the mind killer there's got to be so many different iterations of that uh, throughout different cultures throughout different you know periods of uh, society mentioning those just teachers mentioning those prophets mentioning that right fear is the mind killer and it looks like sensor tube uh, notifications have gone out as well so we're getting some people rolling in uh, people rolling into rumble and i don't think twitch notifications have gone out yet uh, slow mo on twitch slow mo on twitch gang we're gonna do our little intro well let's do our little intro let me do our little intro uh, give people a little bit more time to roll in because this is going to be a sweet stream because <laughs> it's all about honey <laughs> gang if you know what this work is about i'm on patreon substack subscribe star uh you can definitely follow the work there we do have a gilded server that you can join and we've got a little community building growing sharing information real xenomorph went from not uh liking math in high school to loving math due to college and it's sheer requirements for high level math yeah yeah for sure they don't dumb it down for you right they challenge you that's what it is it's good for the brain it makes you smarter but you can't lose right gang we are live streaming on twitch we're live streaming on sensor tube and we're live streaming on rumble and hopefully to be rise live streaming on Bitchute and Odyssey, maybe at some point. Dr. B, cheers. Hope you're doing well. Um, for some of the live streams, we do, do record the audio 
on a lapel mic and upload it to SoundCloud as a podcast. Uh, so you can follow the work there as well. Uh, time to get cozy. Time to get cozy, Chia. Uh, we're on Twitter, Minds, VK, Gab, Substack Notes, and Getter. Uh, you're definitely welcome to follow uh, our work there as well. I do share uh, everything that we do as well as additional content. And gang, if you're interested in the honey stuff, there's a link on Rumble. Um, I put together a little playlist. I just posted a link on Twitch as well, and let me post it on SensorTube as well. Av, AV, FC85, salutations, salutations, Loki, how are you doing? And there's our playlist honey playlist honey jarring playlist we've done other things with honey made cookies and stuff like this and uh we use it in food i think as well uh but that's just a honey jarring playlist that i posted we've got three videos on there we're about to make our fourth okay uh aside from that let's get to business let's get to business let me take these guys down boing 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 and boing boing okay and let me bring out the chat for sensor tube. Make sure we've got that going on. Da da honey, 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 honey. Uh, Kojin master, is it best to chew salvia or smoke it uh, first time? Uh, I can't. I can't do recommendations on salvia. Um, smoking uh, extract is heavy. Smoking leaf, not as heavy. Uh, chewing. It's just a minor time shift. Same with the T. Minor time shift. Um, okay. AVFC. This guy has such a chill vibe. Been watching for years. Thanks. <laughs> it's all the honey I eat. I feel like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie's really chill, right? It's all good here. All we got awesome. We got the kitty cats just woke up. Sal's over here. Hi, Sal. Via's over here. Via's still passed out. Via's going to be passed out for a while. Uh, gang, let's jar some honey. First thing we're going to do is, uh, because what we ended up doing, we bought, uh, what did I say we bought? These Each one of these was, uh, here, let me show you. Each one of these was uh, five kilos. And we bought nine buckets. And we had already bought one bucket as a sample, right? So it was 10 buckets, really. We bought one bucket and it was really good. Uh, so we went back to the same people and bought an extra nine buckets, right? So 45, uh, we have 45 kilos of honey here, a little bit less than 45 because I've already cracked this one open because we gave away honey from this bucket uh, in the auction, right? Uh, Nicholas, it's mean to, uh, it's meant to be. I just have made a honey tea, haha. <laughs> What's up, Chicho? And salutations, Nicholas. Salutations, Nicholas. So let me show you this. Okay. And this was a great deal, this honey. Uh, I need to put this jar somewhere so it doesn't get yeah, I'll just put it here for now. Uh, ended up paying like 72 or 75 per bucket. It ended up being like $15. Per kilo, which is an amazing deal, which is an amazing deal, and some of the stuff is already crystallized, right? Um, the first bucket we got wasn't crystallized. This buck bucket is crystallized, uh, so we're gonna fill up the jars with this crystallized bucket, and then we're gonna hit the other buckets. Okay, uh, five kilo times ten, fifty kilos of honey, fifty kilos of honey. <laughs> Greetings from Russia on Sensor to Mr. Chucky. Salutation. Salutations. Pirashki. Uh, I, I know some words in Russian. Food words. Pilimeni. Uh, Pirashki. Tanapur is Armenian. My, my grandfather spoke Russian, by the way. Uh, okay. X. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Ronnie. Salutations. Salutations. Uh, my grandfather, just uh, Mr. Chucky. Chucky from Russia. Uh, Astrakhan. Okay, the family was from Astrakhan. <laughs> uh, so let's jar this. Okay, and then if we find the liquid honey, we're gonna do garlic, turmeric, and ginger uh, jars of honey. 
sort of medicinal. This is the first time I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, th that's the way you spell it in Russian. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So as soon as we find a liquid honey, if it's crystallized, the crystal will work too with the, with the garlic and stuff. But I'd rather it be liquid so we can see the garlic and ginger and turmeric as well in there. Bonjour from France. Salutations. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, Tic-tac. Tic-tac during. Salutations. Hope you're doing well, brother. Uh, let's do this. Let's bring it out. Here, let's do the little, some little jars first. These are cute. These are jam jars uh, that we have. I think these were jams that I bought uh, from uh, the store. A jarring crystal honey is way more difficult than liquid honey because it's in chunks and we might have some lossage happening. Right. It's not that bad, but just got to be careful and then you got to let it settle. And good thing I got another spoon here. Ooh. That's what happens, you lose a little honey. And we've got to press it in. And then what happens is you get little gaps here, right? See the gaps? So we've got to squish it in or let it settle. So what I might do is just let it settle. Oh, I should have, you know what? I'm gonna take this guy off. We don't need this guy. Because, hi Sal, what's going on? You doing okay? Here, let's do this here. Let's crack open this one. Maybe that'll settle. Uh, born of Osiris, HHO, I have three options, one. Join a small company with great future, but only for a six month contract and being paid by an outsourcer minus pay equals decent Two, getting hired by a small company directly, but it's in its pretty early stages minus pay equals great. Um, three, join a bigger company that is defined but toxic work culture. Three should be out your choice should be either one or two. I wouldn't, I wouldn't join a large company with a toxic culture. Uh, I've worked uh, for those kinds of companies before, not too much. Uh, I usually was an outsider doing contract work for them. So uh, I didn't get too involved in the politics of it uh, because everyone knew I was just a contractor so I could piss off anytime I wanted to. Uh, so I, I sort of shielded myself from that stuff but I saw it play out with other people and and then when I left the company to start teaching uh, the boss I was working with and he was an amazing person make sure the boss is amazing right if your bosses aren't good then forget about it right uh, the boss I was working with was really good and then every time I would go back, I would still go back and talk to them and stuff. <laughs> he would he would turn to the whole office and it was a big office. It was like it was a satellite office, it was an international company. A multinational company. Not international, but multinational company, geotech company. He would always turn to people and say, Oh, Chicho did the right thing, leaving the company. <laughs> like in front of everyone. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was really funny. See this? There's little gaps there. Little gaps there. Right? Okay, hold on. Let this settle. Sal's gonna be meowing. He just woke up. We just timed it that he woke up. I'm gonna give him a little liver so he chills down a little bit. Okay. And uh, I'll be right back. It's gonna take me about a minute. Come on. Here. I know. You wanna say hi to the people? Come here. Say hi. You can't get close to the honey because we don't want fur in there. You want down? Okay, come on. Hold on, say hi. There's Sal. What? 
<laughs> and here's Via. He's a whiny. Via's whiny. See? Hi. He's so chill. Yeah. Are you doing okay? Yes, you are. Okay. Here's Via. Okay, come on. I'm gonna give you guys some liver. And then we're gonna wash our hands. Did he knock our camera around? No, he did okay. He did okay. Do cats eat honey? Not our cats. Not that I know of. Dogs will eat anything, right? Dogs will eat anything. Um, on sensor too. Peaky Blinders. Is the honey local to you, Chicho? Or is it imported? It's local uh, Canadian honey. It's from a company in Nelson. Here, I showed this before. This is not product placement. Okay, it's not product placement. <laughs> Salbandin I-85, first time chat, salutations, salutations. And ge geologically, geologically, that's a good name. I did geophysics. Uh, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. So this is, um, this is the company, okay. Product of Canada. And they're in Nelson, BC, and it's raw organic honey. Okay. Raw organic honey. Uh, unpasteurized. Unpasteurized. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the lids on these. And just close them up. Now, these are going to be a little bit sticky action, but it's okay. i got to wet. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay these things down here for now. On sensor to Blaine Chicho, I love your content, especially your comic videos. Nice, nice, nice. Me too, me too. Comic books are awesome. Uh, first time chat, I didn't read your message. Salbadin, uh, Chicho, Chicho, been watching you on uh, sensor two for years. First time on Twitch, awesome, awesome. Uh, trying uh, gain these points for next year's auction. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good idea good idea why not why not uh, tch, tch, tch. uh blaine also your cats are super cute they are amazing we love them really they're fantastic uh real xenomorph on twitch uh there's so many stray cats in my neighborhood like never before feels like someone's uh dumped them at some point oh it could be the people uh, uh what do you call it uh can't afford them right so they let them loose because of inflation and stuff temporary peace salutations hope you're doing well on rumble and hostile edgy all the gods in the house on rumble as well nice 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 uh ronnie i never got the thanos comic which comic uh the oh the um uh, infinity gauntlet number one i haven't found it ronnie I haven't gone I haven't been going through my comics um, the comics that I pulled out they they were in the recent boxes so I have to go into the old boxes but keep on reminding me uh, the gauntlet yeah 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 
I keep on reminding me because you didn't win in an auction. I just promised you when I find one, I'll send one your way, right? So you got to wait. You got to wait. No problem. I'm surprised you remember, brother, for sure. For sure. I saw so, some things I remember, some things I don't, right? Um, yeah, you're right. I did not win it. Cool, cool. Uh, Blaine, what do you think about the newer Marvel Universe? I haven't been buying uh, anything recent. I haven't been pulling anything recent. I sort of got asked to leave a comic book store uh, because I refused to put a diaper on my head and I haven't gone back, right? What? Wrong login. Wrong login <laughs> on thing. Uh, first time chat, did geologically. Uh, I have been watching you for years and never knew you were a fellow geo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am also in geo, however, as a uh, sedimentologist. Nice, nice. So you're doing oil, uh, shale, stuff like this, yeah? I did 10 years of geophysics work across Canada and United States. Most of it environmental. Most of it environmental. I'm going to bring more jars, gang. Uh, yeah, let's do... Let's do a couple of, uh, what do you call it? Smaller as well as uh, wider uh, rim. Okay, I'll put on my glasses. Doop. I don't know how much jarring we're going to be able to do, but we'll do as much as we can. aside and crack open a new one to see if we got a liquid one or not because the liquids a lot easier to deal with for jarring anyway let's see is there any gaps here <laughs> it's like I'm hoping it'll it'll settle down a little bit It's honey, so preserve. That's fine. Right. Little gaps. If it does fill up the, what do you call it? Uh, close the gap there. And, you know, we'll let it sit. And if there's more space, I'll put more honey. Okay. I'm blame pretty big. Uh, pretty base I respect your decision how has life uh, been uh, been as uh, of recent on sensitively uh, not bad I just got uh, word that in the societies that we live in they're trying to collect every type of data from their population so just got word that uh, in my part of Canada anyway, the government's requiring uh, a lot of educators to have their biometrics uh, to share their biometrics with the government to allow them to teach. And I'm a hard no on that. So for me, uh, I'm going to be uh, parting ways with uh, a school that I really liked, actually, and they love me, uh, that I've been working with for five years, more than five years, I think, uh, teaching a lot of their kids. And they've been, I've been one of their main math uh, outsourcing uh, educators. So the, the students uh, that I've been teaching, they're, gonna, they're not going to be happy about it. <laughs> but the parents are not going to be happy about it but it is what it is right but on the bright side i get to do more math live streams right here you know what i'm going to do i'm going to 
Okay, I'm gonna put these on on the side here. Yeah, actually, let's do this. I'm gonna crack open another one because this is like that. Ah, no, let's finish this thing off. Let's finish this thing off. Nicholas, you should didn't consider grandma and uh, bow down uh, when buying his comics. Uh -huh. No, no, <laughs> my grandma's okay. Not injected and okay. Honey is just fantastic, indeed, indeed. Blaine, I'm sorry to hear that, Chicho. Any school would be lucky to have you. Uh, I agree. I'm the best math teacher I've ever known. Let's do. Let's do this one. How many can you fit in here? We could probably do two of these. Let's check it out. Let's do that like that. On the bright side, it's really easy to stick the spoons in there. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. All the other honey jarring videos we've made, the honey's been pretty much liquid. might uh, after finishing this I'll probably open up these jars and give actually no I won't have to give the rim a wipe but I'll probably wash all the jars because they might be getting sticky a little bit a little bit of brown <laughs> okay I don't want to lick my finger because I'm working with stuff definitely have a little wet napkin if you're going to do this two okay that's good hopefully that'll settle there's gaps in these right see that so let me put the lid back on this that's one jar and then there's still honey in here and I usually go uh, to the empty buckets and scrape them with uh, a knife, right? And just use them up that way, right? Uh, do you like any video games, Chicho? Yeah, I blame, yeah, for sure. I used to play uh, Braun. I used to play, um, I've gone through periods where I play a lot of video games. Where the honey, uh, uh, where the honey li uh, liquor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't thought about making honey liquor yet. Then, um, oh, good. Oh, I don't have any vodka straight up. Uh, tic tac ring. Is it possible to survive on water and honey alone? I doubt it because there won't be too much protein. Oh, I shouldn't have this. I should just open it. Uh, too much. Uh, Protein, right? You need protein. You don't get protein, your mind will mush. You need protein. Yeah, I think it would. X. I think uh, honey, uh, honey and vodka would work. It'd be really sweet, though. It'd be really sweet. 
Okay, this is going to be loud on a mic, so I'm not going to do it here because this is a uh, packing tape they put it on with. The Witcher 3 Blaine on sensor tube. Eh? Okay, let me do this here. Got a little latch here. You got a crack open. Let's check it out. Are you liquid? Oh no, this is crystallized too. Check it out. Smells amazing though. Smells amazing. So let's jar this as well. We'll jar this and then we'll crack open a few buckets to see if we get anything that's liquid. Uh, if they're all going to be crystal, then we're going to hit up the uh, garlic. We're going to chop up some garlic and ginger and turmeric and put it in the big jars and uh, start off that medicinal honey jar. Uh, I don't know what do you call it. Uh, smell o vision <laughs> I wish there was a, a, a steel lord of iron how are you doing uh, let's do the big jars let's do big jars mm, yeah, let me move this chunks of honey over a little bit like smells really good We could also put uh, the buckets of honey near the fire and the heat will uh, sort of liquefy it. But the whole point is to have it unpasteurized, right? I think pasteurization is pretty higher temp than just heat from a, sitting by a near a gas uh, fireplace. Smells amazing. Oh, I could do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more. Hmm. <laughs> Chicho, I would have heated it up a bit. Would you? Well, the, the thing is, I don't know if they're all liquid, uh, they're all crystallized or not, right? Um, 
the first batch we got it wasn't like the first uh, first bucket of these we bought as a sample uh it was liquid it wasn't crystallized so far three of these that we've opened up uh, the buckets are crystallized um, so my guess is these might have been because might have been at the beginning might have been spring honey uh, not fall honey uh, or summer honey or it could have been uh, product left over from the year before right I don't think so though because I think they sold that at some point this isn't actually that bad uh, jarring it like this it's gonna require a little bit of just wiping down with a wet rag this is a recommendation uh, put jars in hot water that's what I do for decro oh okay but I don't mind the crystallized like honey is supposed to like organic raw unpasteurized honey is supposed to crystallize like this is this is what it does right so I'm okay with that uh, Blaine have a good rest of your day Chicho thank you for your videos I appreciate them my pleasure Blaine I hope you have a fantastic day as well uh, fantastic Tuesday yuck educator on twitch hi chicho how are you today hi chat how are you too how are you yuck <laughs> fantastic let's do one of these these are like honey that we've bought before in the past that comes in these jars so might as well fill it up back with honey right jar yeah x it seems to be jarring faster when crystallized i'm not doing the twirl twirl <laughs> trying to go boop right and if the if the what do you call it the lid the top is wide it's crazy easy right certain sounds here that <laughs> I've heard many times before but not associated with honey <laughs> nice nice X I would uh, overdose on honey if I had that much uh, yeah I eat a I eat a I, I we consume a lot of honey I consume a lot of honey So what's the, what's the temperature for pasteurization 
Like, is heating up the honey considered pasteurizing the honey? No. I think pasteurization has to be a certain temperature. Like, high temperature, right? So if you just heat up the jar to liquef liquefy the honey, that's not uh, considered pasteurizing. Glass always beats plastic base, man, 100%. I hate plastic jars. Or plastic containers I, I try to I, I try to avoid them like the plague anyway uh, how much does that much honey cost uh, see that we bought uh, five kilogram this much honey five kilogram buckets for uh, it's let's say 75 right $75 Canadian so that comes out to uh, about $15 per kilo, which is an amazing price. It used to be a lot cheaper, of course, right? But with inflation and stuff, $15 a kilo is an amazing price. It's a really good price for raw, organic, unpasteurized. I don't know how local it is. It's from Nelson, BC. It's from my province. And I'm assuming they're getting the honey from BC. So... It would be local but it says canadian so they might be getting it from ontario and stuff as well or quebec right or anywhere else in canada right but really good price really good price so this bucket look at that not bad we got it. Can you guys see the kitty cats? Oh, you can't see. Uh, what's his name? Is that Via or Sal? That's Via by the fireplace. Let's see if I can. Can you see his head right there? Dick. He's in front of the fireplace, just enjoying the heat. Oh, let, me, here, let me open this up here. Let's set up destroying the bag it's a uh, gas uh, see that there's a gas burner CTE everything smelled differently from plastic yeah yeah and you don't know how much heat uh, the stuff has been under during transportation and stuff. I don't like plastic. Like even these, the buckets are plastic, but they're, it's the only way you can get them really. And that's one reason when we get these, usually try to jar as much of it as possible, right? Okay, I'm gonna tear this off a little bit further away from the mic so it doesn't bother you guys. Okay. Crystal. Well, this one's really crystallized. Wow. Look at this guy. Let me 
see how hard this one is. Oh yeah, this one's really crystallized. So what I'm gonna do, because I do wanna, I'm gonna close this one. Let me crack open another one. Because the one before wasn't as crystallized as this. Yeah, check this one out. Less crystallized. So, take a look. Right? Compare this to... So this one is way more crystallized. This one, not as much. So what I'm gonna do, so let's do this. Let's put the lid back on this for a second. Well, for a few minutes anyway. I'm gonna cut up some garlic and I'm gonna put them in a big jar and then I'm gonna jar it up with this. Okay. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. Alex Smith on Sensor 2, but look, Joe, look, chat. More crystallized equals more sugary. Is it? Is that what it is? Yuck Legend says in off stream, Chicho, making farming honey. Delicious. So let's put this here. Let's bring this. I got two of these big jars. Okay. One of them we're going to do just garlic and honey. The other one we're gonna do garlic, honey, uh, turmeric and ginger. Okay, sort of medicinal uh, mixture. So what I need to do, let me put this out over here. This jar we don't need here. What you hear outside is uh, it's garbage day, so they're coming to pick up the, the garbage and whatnot. So. That's your extra spoon. Now, what we're going to do is... We went to the uh, farmer's market and we bought local uh, garlic from a local farm. Okay, uh, that's a different bag. So these are really good. We bought garlic from them before. These guys, right? So I'm gonna break these apart. And we bought this from them too, and it was really good. Uh, organic garlic powder and sea salt. So we've been using this with it. Uh, let's make with yogurt. yogurt. Well, yogurt and honey is super good, but we don't wanna preserve with yogurt. It won't work. 
no bad buyers here. And uh, again, not product placement, but this, these are the people that we bought this from, the garlic. Sun Trino uh, is a local farm. Okay, so we go to our uh, sort of uh, local market uh, that we bought these from. They're really nice people, really nice people. Okay, so if you're in a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in my part of the world, uh, they're really good people. And I want to keep the garlics whole. If I'm doing cooking and stuff, I, I usually, when I'm getting uh, garlic chunks here, I take the knife and squish it and then peel off the, the skin off of it, right? But uh, I want to keep the garlic chunks whole. <laughs> Elder God, no dairy. The dairy debate has begun. Now, honey crystallization naturally, real honey. It depends of where honey comes from, what plants, age, temperature, and st uh, storage. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. If you get good honey, it will crystallize on you, right? It's the honey that doesn't crystallize. You gotta go. Wait a second. As far as I know, right? We're not gonna. I'm gonna peel a whole bunch first. Uh, you know what? I need a bucket here to get rid of this stuff. I'll be right back. A composting container. Bin man, that's what you call it, Allegard? In the UK, bin man. Tick tack ring. At the moment, every evening, I have a soup with bread, croutons, uh, rubbed with garlic, plus grated cheese. Ooh, delicious. Delicious. Grated cheese, Parmesan? doesn't know again they like sleeping there they have two places mainly they sleep one here and the other one here and it's man having cats uh, living with cats it's it's pretty nice and chill they could be demanding every now and then you know they're talking to you and they want a little snack or whatnot they love pets right OBS disconnected. Why is OBS disconnecting? Are we disconnected? Oh no, I hope not. Uh oh, uh oh. Are we dis reconnected successfully? Oh no. Did we lose it? Did we lose it? And we're back. Oh, I wonder if this is going to get broken up into two pieces. We're back. We're back. We're back. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't break it into two separate videos. Let's check it out. Uh, 
Rumble is still going. I don't know if it got disconnected then or not. Um, since I'm checking, I'll give you guys a head count. Uh, we've got 10 people on Rumble. We've got 46 on Twitch. And we've got 10 people on so uh, on uh, SensorTube. So 10 on SensorTube, 10 on Rumble, and Twitch. 51 on, 53 on Twitch. So Twitch is kicking up. And then Twitch kicked down. Down to one. Are we disconnected again? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think it broke for one second. One second? Okay. So the Twitch count is <laughs> not showing zero, but we know there's a bunch of people on Twitch. So we don't know what's going on. Right. Let's see. Uh, no, we want more garlic. We want more garlic. Nicola still here. Nice. And garlic used to be really cheap. Now garlic is ridiculously expensive. Just to let you know, this, here, I'll bring this out too. This amount of garlic, this amount of garlic, local, organic, okay. You're still disconnected, Elder God? Oh no, are you still disconnected? Let's see, hold on a second. I'm showing uh, Twitch is back. Now it's showing like 23 people. So we lost a, half our half our viewership. Uh, but from what I like, um, what do you call it? This garlic right here. This this is local organic local farm garlic. And it was there's two places at this uh, farmers market that sell garlic. One of them is specialized like different types of garlic and stuff like this. These guys are lower price. This much garlic costs forty-five dollars Canadian. Okay, forty-five dollars Canadian. God, no way! I made a stream for one. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Duj on Sensor Two. Welcome to our live stream. Yeah, forty-five dollars for garlic. Yeah, forty-five dollars for garlic. Okay, that's super expensive. Super expensive super super expensive you can buy cheap garlic uh like from china and stuff like this uh really cheap fairly cheap but when it comes to roots uh, uh sort of foods that grow in soil i want to make sure the soil is not toxic uh from a farmer's market Yeah, expensive. For about five pounds in the UK. Eight dollars US, really. I believe it was forty-five dollars. I'll check with my partner. But I'm pretty sure it was forty-five. Time to grow your own yeah, time to grow your own garlic, one hundred percent. Guys, come on, forty-five dollars worth, uh, worth it if it's really healthy. Uh, yuck, I agree. When it comes to certain foods like uh, potatoes, onions, like root vegetables and stuff like this, uh, I think it's really important to make sure the soil is good. Like, really. And this is a fair bit of garlic, right? And one more. Hayes, how are you doing? If you have the money, why not? But nowadays, uh, where to go? Nowadays is quite hard to uh, justify it. For a lot of people financially yeah here's a kicker though right if you don't eat healthy it's gonna cost you more in the long run 
So one thing you have to do is stay healthy to save money. The number one thing that bankrupts people is health, health issues, right? So pretty important, pretty important. Okay, I got to get get ourselves a bowl, put these in, just wipe off the, uh, what do you call it, the cutting board here. Okay, I'll be right back. So let's break a little bit. Let's break a little bit of garlic. Where's our jar? There it is. Mm, let's put it here. We'll switch it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a uh, couple of spoonfuls of honey in there so we have a base on the bottom of it apologies if i'm not reading the chat gang zach the ripper how are you doing on sensor two been a long time how are you doing doing good doing good jar and honey <laughs> yummy yummy And what's going to happen, the garlic is going to start fermenting in this thing. And every now and then we have to open up the jar and air it out. do I'm going to take off this here I'll show you this little end right that part of it let's see if you can focus it I don't know if it's going to focus that part of it right just take the end off so it's not the chunkiness there right just cut it off nice and clean Boop. in you go Nice chunky garlic. Alright, look. 
nice chunk of garlic. Honey and garlic, honey and garlic. Thin. Good. Medicine. Boop. Uh, this we're gonna. I've never done this before, by the way, with garlic and honey. But I've been meaning to for a number of years. Uh, same with my partner. And at the farmer's market, when we're talking with uh, getting the garlic from the from these guys, uh, from the booth that they had set up, they asked why we were buying so much garlic. And we told them what we were doing. And uh, the girl farmer that works at the booth, uh, one of the people there, she was like, yeah, yeah, we do it as well. Uh, and we do it with uh, turmeric and uh, ginger as well. And then every now and then, if you feel a little bit of a cold, a little bit of a sore throat, a little bit of chest and you know congestion and stuff coming up, they open up the jar of honey and they eat a spoonful of uh, of the honey, and it's really good, right? And if you've been around, you'll know that for me, one of the things I do if I feel like I'm getting a cold or uh, or whatever it is every now and then I go through periods where I eat pickled garlic I just cracked open a new jar of pickled garlic uh, the other day and started eating some pickled garlic because pickled garlic good I can show you that here let me bring the pickled garlic I'll show you what I bought with pickled garlic right buy pickled garlic like this much take a look always have pickled garlic I usually always have pickled garlic at home and I won't bring it over because I don't want to spill like that it gets black and I sometimes take a whole you know bulb of garlic and I eat a bulb of pickled garlic right. it's just my my body loves it it, it tastes good right uh, healthy and, and garlic's got major antibiotics and stuff like that yeah 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 you can for sure we'll be eating the garlic cloves as well 100 percent 100 percent right you're prepping uh, already i'll do the same yeah yonk for sure Being a, you know, I'm, we're not hardcore preppers. I wish we were, to tell the truth. Uh, but we would need more land space, right? So there's a whole layer of bunch of garlic there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of more spoonfuls of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, honey on there. Okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> that's one thing with the chunks of honey crystallized honey it's easy to pick up garlic in there I think I'm gonna put more than what I'm putting on there right now because that's a fair bit of honey okay garlic is supposed to be good for the heart Rafost. CTE honey is found in Egyptian comb 3,000 year old and it is it's fine to eat as long as it's kept proper honey uh, pots and similar it will not spoil honey is not a problem in what you keep honey in yeah uh, it's from what I understand one of the first preservatives uh, that we had and then alcohol would have been another sugar salt uh joe on sensor tube i'm finally watching cocaine Bear last night super goofy but i like that yeah super fun man super fun super funny there's some scenes in there that are laugh out loud right winnie the pooh winnie the pooh eggs winnie the pooh would be very happy right now indeed the original winnie the pooh the and then disney bought them out right so Disney Winnie the Pooh, well, we ain't too woke here, so I don't think Disney Winnie the Pooh would be pleased with us. They'd be like, I don't know what they would be like. Nice garlic though, very nice garlic, very nice garlic. get what you pay for indeed there are amazing deals to be had but with food pretty important steel lord of iron i take whole cloves of garlic minced when i'm sick uh natural nature's antibiotic 100 percent. i've had i've made like garlic sandwiches in wraps and eaten those right especially uh, if you get uh, chest uh, throat or ear infections right and garlic is definitely has the sugariness to it as well right nothing beats garlic bread garlic bread is so good so good How I'm peeling the garlic, it, it, I, I don't even know if I'm doing it right, right? Elder God would know. Cheryl, how are you doing? Um, but what I do, I here, I'll show you on the next one, okay? I'll show you on the next one. You need a knife that's handy, like a little knife, okay? Because sometimes the skin just sticks on it, right? But here, what I do, I grab the garlic from this end, right and i give it twist like this and then peel off right and as soon as i peel one side off right you get in there what i do depending on how the garlic is peeling i 
cut off the chunk, right? And then try to pull the rest of the skin off of it. Now, this is only when I'm trying to keep uh, the cloves whole. Otherwise, I take these, put them on the cutting board, and I squish them with a, with a fat knife, with a cutting knife. And then it, it peels off super easy, right? So it really depends on... Uh, I'm doing the garlic correctly, Elder God. Thank you. Thank you. It just feels the right way to do, right? Um, you know, I've heard about easier ways to do where you put them in a like a bowl and you shake it and most of it comes off. I've, I've seen people try that and it's, I don't know. It, it, it didn't work too well from what, <laughs> what I saw. <laughs> Oh, paprika, Lord of Steel, paprika as a paste for a sore throat. And it goes with paprika. I didn't think about paprika. Paprika would be amazing. <laughs> that shaking shit don't work. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen people do, oh, this is great. I'm like, oh, wait a second, man. I don't know about this. It's not that great, Miss Balloon Hands. Yuck, I understand what you mean. I believe that. Ch -ch. Nice. Garlic, 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 poor garlic. CT. CT on sensor tube. Uh, my wife hates me when I eat a lot of garlic. Haha, <laughs> she can't handle the smell. And of course, I want to kiss, haha. Tell her to eat the garlic too. That way, they don't, the smell doesn't bother them. I know people who are like, oh, I hate the smell of garlic. I go, man, if you ate garlic, you wouldn't hate the smell of garlic. Like, I just eat garlic. Like, what do you mean you hate the smell of garlic? It's like one of nature's greatest foods. It's like a superfood. Like garlic and honey, really. Like two of the superfoods there are. Right? Nice. Temporary peace, Chicho. You naughty, naughty boy. Sounds like a good mac. Good mac and cheese. Uh -huh. I'm assuming that was the honey, honey. Is that what it was? Squish, <laughs> squish. Nice. I'm gonna make this layer with a lot of garlic. Uh, 57 Willow on Twitch. Food distributors like Cisco and Gordon Foods sell large containers like yours uh, with nothing but peeled garlic and cloves. One of my delivery guys would eat them uh, by the handful, nice. His breath was tough to take, but he was rarely sick, yeah. And raw garlic, uh, stronger than cooked garlic, for sure. Raw garlic is, uh, is very powerful, very powerful, right? Like one of the greatest things you could do with garlic, like seriously, take, take a clove like this. I'll cut this part off. Take cloves like this. Take foil or a container, put olive oil a little bit on top, right? With the skin, with the skin, right? Olive oil on top, a little bit of water. Um, I usually put it in a in tin foil, right? So I put it in tin foil. I put them in there like this, right? Put a little bit of water, a little bit of olive oil, close the tin foil, make sure it's airtight, sealed. And then you put it in the toaster, right? Toaster oven, turn it up give it i don't know how many minutes um not long like 15 minutes 10 15 minutes bring it out you got roasted garlic it like melts it's so good so good like wow and that the taste on that is not very strong it's it's not like raw garlic it doesn't burn and it's amazing it's amazing 
You could put it on the grill too. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm gonna put a couple of more spoonfuls of honey in this. Okay. I wish I put more garlic in the bottom too, but we'll see, we'll see. Seven pillow roasted garlic is so delicious. Love to spread it on toast. Yeah, on sourdough. Oh, 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 so good, so good. Yuck, roasted garlic. I surprised. Do you suggest we roast in uh, bread or just it but just by itself, just by itself, and it becomes really like soft and spreadable and you just make your toast and spread it on top of the toast so good so good garlic with honey tim on sensor too yeah i've heard it's really medicinal and the garlic starts fermenting and it gets the flavor gets into the honey i've never tried this by the way i've never done i just heard about it and it's about time we did Sometimes the skin really sticks to the garlic. Really thin skin too. Yeah, Tim, uh, on sensor too. I've heard it's really medicinal. Like if you get sore throat and, you know, chest infection or you feel a cold coming on or something or just a cold coming on sore throat coming on right uh just have a spoonful because garlic is serious antibiotics right Garlic upsets your stomach if you eat too much of it, Miss Balloon Hands. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of things uh, can do that, right? For me, it's uh, fried onions, caramelized onions, if they're not caramelized completely. It's uh, makes your tummy go, right? And garlic, too, if you eat too much, for sure. It's a, it's a powerful food. Powerful food. Uh, yuck, the internet says we shouldn't take more than five cloves in a day. Otherwise, stomach pains, bad breath could could be show up. Uh, if that's Google, Google is wrong. <laughs> Do your search on Brave. <laughs> the internet is, uh, uh, the internet used to be a lot more right than it is now. Uh, so, I would I would dig down if you're doing it on Google, uh, go to. Usually there isn't a tenth page anyway. Google's we got the dead internet in the past in the nineties, early two thousands when you did a search, uh, on Google you could go down to like page fifty if you wanted to. Right right now try it. Do a search on Google. See how many pages you can go down. Not very many. Right, and sometimes you have to go down a lot, to find what you're looking for or what you heard about right uh, i personally don't use google anymore i think it's uh, 
garbage to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Elder God says, I eat onions raw and garlic. Yeah, one of the things we do, um, like in Iran, you do, we used to make onion sandwiches, and there's this thing called somar, uh, Persian, right? So flatbread, and this, and somar is the flower of um, it, of a plant. I forget what, uh, what flower, what plant it is. And you have butter, raw garlic and somar sandwiches it's so good so good like power food power food yeah miss balloon hands i use the uh, brave i use brave as my search engine liver and onions so good so good I actually haven't done liver and onions for a while. Time to do some liver and onions. Come on. hands of white this is check this out it gets so sticky right like garlic so hold on let me take these off well there's a couple more here and i'm gonna have a little snack are we supposed to be eating healthy? Not today. Not today. Cinnamon bun. I went to the bakery this morning. Cinnamon bun. Sometimes I go there, I get day old stuff, uh, which is really, and they have it as a great price. So this is uh, two cinnamon buns and a muffin was uh, four fifty, right? And it's pretty good. Is this healthy? Hell no. Look at that. Gluten. Elder God, you want some? No, he said. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Bon appetit, Yuck says. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Crime town. How's cash acceptance around you, Chicho? How's How's cash acceptance around you, Chicho? People still take money? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I pay I pay cash only. It, anywhere I go, I ca cash only. Um, if they don't take cash, I walk out. And I haven't... During the lockdowns, there were places that didn't take cash. I turned to them and go, you guys are idiots. Left, the, left whatever I was getting on the counter. I said, good riddance to you. But uh, yeah, everywhere I go, cash. Same with my partner. Most of the time, anyway. With my partner. With me, all the time. The the one mat on Sensor 2. Hey, Chicho, been following you for years. I finally caught a live stream. Awesome. Awesome. Salute. Salute to the long game. Salute to the long game. We actually have places here, like um, uh, that only take cash. Like one of the one at the farmers market, uh, where you know we go twice a month, maybe uh, it's every Saturday. There's a bunch of ladies there that sell uh, 
Middle Eastern and Mediterranean foods, like uh, uh, chicken curries and uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, oh God, I forget the names now. Like uh, anyway, a whole bunch of Mediterranean, Middle Eastern food. They only take cash, and I make it an intention to go there uh, at least once to twice a month to buy products from them, to buy their food. And they usually always sell out. Like they they sell out. If you don't go there early, they sell out of certain things you want. Right? Cash is king, baby. Baby nights, indeed. Cash is king. Cash is king. If you remember, for since I started making personal finance videos in late 2018 and stuff, I was telling people, to get out of debt and get into cash. Get into get out of that, get into cash. And people were like, oh crazy, it's money's so cheap. I go, well, interest rates are about to go up. Right? So you're if you're in debt, you're pretty much screwed, depending on how much debt you're in, because your interest rates are gonna go through the roof. However, if you're in cash, then straight up you can put your money in the bank right now and get five percent, right? Which you couldn't have done in the past. And then people were like, oh, it's crazy. You know, you don't want to be in cash. Cash is garbage. No, no, no. It really depends. It really depends. I agree to a certain degree. You know, you don't want to be all in cash, but you want to conduct business in cash. You want to be able to conduct business in cash. Okay. Nice. Come on. Ooh. Nice. Good. I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic in here, and then put one, one or two more spoonfuls uh, of uh, of honey, and seal it up. Right. Honey. Honey is amazing. Salito, salutations. Welcome to our Twitch live stream. Uh, hi, Chicho. I've been following you for a long time, so I respect your opinion quite a bit. Do you have any thoughts on the grieving process? Lost a relative uh, that I was very close to this week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sosalito. Sosalito, uh, go to our sensor tube channel. I put out a video. Uh, talking about how to deal with grief uh is that the one nicholas is that what you're linking up uh, because i'm not sure if you know that i've 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 buried uh relatives i've buried two brothers that's the way to okay thanks nicholas uh so i've gone through and both of them were devastating both of them were extremely intense both of them um, they were totally different from each other it was fucking insane like <sighs> Uh, you, you got to build yourself back up again, right? Um, so take a look at that video. Uh, just straight up, what I can tell you is, uh, if they meant a lot to you, if they meant a lot to you, incorporate at least one thing that they really loved, really loved in their lives, in your life, okay? Uh, don't force it, but just start to build an appreciation for it. Okay, that's one thing I can tell you. Um, the other stuff it will be in that video, but it takes a while, man. It takes a while. It'll make you stronger and make you appreciate life a lot more. And you look at clowns who lose their temper uh, and spazzes and stuff like this. People who spaz out on life. Uh, who are nothing you look at them and go man what an infant right it's 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 different it's a different perspective man it's a different perspective thanks nicholas by the way sasalito thank you chicho i will watch that video awesome awesome i missed the chat there that was 
oh, I can't go back up. Gang, if I, because my hands are sticky with garlic. <laughs> if there's anything directed towards me that I missed, just repost it. Because the chat is just uh, rotating. Uh, and I got three chats open. So if I'm missing something, uh, my apologies. Marco P on sensor tube. Uh, hey, Chicho, recently started playing your rapid deal monopoly variant which i stumbled across very fun awesome <laughs> what a great game eh? <laughs> just chaos <laughs> i love it love it love it love it we need to give props to bees we need to give props to bees man we need to give props to bees like this is how much I love bees. One of the first videos I ever made was uh, it was an environmental video. <laughs> it was about colony collapse disorder. I was like, "What? The bees are dying. Oh, I gotta do my part <laughs> to preserve the bees." So I put out a video. I don't know when it was, like mid two thousands, I think, about colony collapse disorder. I don't have any facial hair, and I'm walking around and. It was me experimenting with things too, right? Uh, Sasolito, I've never had garlic in honey. Interesting combo. I've never done this before either. But I've had garlic like foods. Like for example, one one food that is phenomenal with garlic and honey is like garlic honey chicken wings, garlic honey ribs right i think everybody probably has had you know garlic honey ribs garlic honey chicken wings phenomenal wow if i had a choice when i go to chicken wing place if i'm gonna eat chicken wings or ribs garlic honey is usually my first choice right tormented revy on sensitive chicho are you iranian persian uh, also enjoy your vids i'm armenian persian armenian armenian persian armenian persian canadian canadian armenian persian canadian persian armenian armo persian canadian <laughs> what comes first i don't know i'm west coast canadian mainly i'm west coast canadian as my growing cannabis and and enjoying long walks in the rain probably attest to look at the size of this chunky look at that garlic honey wings is amazing is amazing i'll do one more let's do one more Marco, thoughts on clean cut versus beard? I've personally been uh, uh, interpreted in very different ways uh, so, uh, societally. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's a different game. I put out a video. Uh, I have a beard playlist. I put out a video uh, talking about how society treats you differently when you have facial hair or when you don't have facial hair. Um, and it's and it's amazing it's the difference is amazing uh it's it's a video i made probably late 2000s mid 2000s and it's me on on a beach uh with sea walk behind me i got a full-blown beard and i'm talking about some of the differences between being clean cut so-called clean cut and having facial hair uh one of the big differences is depending on where you are uh, in terms of female attraction there's a lot more females or during that time there was anyway when i was one i've always had facial hair not all every now and then i go clean cut but um usually have facial hair and i've had a lot of people over the years tell me oh you, you should go clean god you should cut the beard that's gross that's this that's this that's this i go man you guys are clueless uh because a lot of girls a lot of female right 
they don't like or they didn't like facial hair when I was growing it. So the number of choices I had for a partner decreased dramatically. But fuck, those girls, those women that love facial hair, they make the ones that want, they hate hair, look like... <laughs> like get away from me you guys don't know what's what so in terms of in terms of caliber of partners uh i gravitate towards people that like facial hair because it's a lot of fucking fun uh and it's uh it's a different game you're not playing with children anymore you're in grown-up land right so you got a lot of doors open to you of uh, the type of activities and pleasures you can you can engage in right garlic honey look at this goodness look at this goodness garlic honey well groomed as cheryl says well groomed is the key uh, don't go messy right it's fantastic yes 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 let's do another one <laughs> but we're going to do another one of these. We're going to do garlic, ginger, and turmeric. Okay? So, fantastic. Let's bring this baby over. Let's put a layer of honey down there at the bottom. Nicholas Chicho. Chicho beer playlist. The first link is the video name you named. The second link is facial hair uh, playlist. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you very much. And uh, check this out. Like, when I started making videos, like, mid-2000s, right? I had one person, one friend that was into... Uh, social networks videos and stuff like this he was working for a big company and whatnot he looked at my math videos and he said oh chicho look you phenomenal work like he was like wow your math videos are incredible so good so good but one thing you have to do you have to cut shave the beard i go what he goes shave the beard uh People don't like beards. Companies, you know, they get turned off by beards and stuff like this. You'll get more hits if you shave, if you're clean cut. I looked at him, I laughed. I go, fuck, I'm not doing this for hits. I'm doing it because I love doing what I'm doing and I love my fucking beard. I'm not going to shave so Disney can pick up my content. It's not going to happen. There are times I do have videos, math videos, where I don't have facial hair, but I'm not gonna do it because facial hair bad. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shave my beard when I feel like it. And there's no way I'm gonna be not having a beard and making videos. So, and at that time, there weren't too many people with facial hair. They were like, oh, facial hair bad. We're, keep, keep in mind, we came out of 9-11, right? And the Western world was a war in Afghanistan and half of them invaded Iraq. And it was a time where there was a huge propaganda campaign against facial hair of all things. For me, I didn't care. The corporate propagandists and those who fear something can go suck an egg. <laughs> <laughs> to put it nicely <laughs> trident on sensor tube i hope you're having a good day my friend indeed indeed playing with garlic and honey awesome and live streaming and chit chatting with people life is pretty good man life is pretty good life is sweet and if i see garlic like this if there's a little blemish there and stuff i do cut that off So every layer now, I'm going to put a garlic, ginger, and turmeric, okay? Oh, and Cheryl says, oh, and take care of the skin underneath the beard. Coolio. 
I'm not sure if I really do anything with the skin underneath the beard. <laughs> I'm not a huge oil per like I don't oil the beard, oil the facial hair or anything. Uh, I just I just make sure I'm clean. <coughs> Uh, how many jars am I making? I'm just going to make two jars with the medicinal stuff, garlic and honey and stuff. And then we're going to get back into just jarring honey because I want to have a whole bunch of jarred honey. Uh, you know, if we're going to go to some some someone's house, we can take it as a gift. Um, and it's for our use as well, right? We don't want to have a big bucket of honey sitting on the counter because we use honey on a, a daily basis, right? Cheryl, Chicho, do you use soap or cleaner when you wash your face? Uh, if so, you're taking care of the skin. Yeah, 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 that's what I do. I do I do use soap for sure, for sure. Yeah, then stay clean, people. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And good soap, you know, we're not using crappy, crappy soap. We're using good soap. And the good stove stuff my partner takes care of. In general, I found I, I found that women tend to be much wiser when it comes to skincare than men. In general, in general. Okay, oh God, Arsenal last minute winner against Luton Town to win four three. Damn, that's a high scoring game. Okay, turmeric and ginger, gang. We're gonna do turmeric and ginger. I got a couple other types of garlic here, but I'm not gonna use these ones. I'm just gonna stick with those ones. Uh, let me put these guys here. So I'm gonna need, here's a turmeric, right? I'm gonna need a spoon because I need to clean this off. I'm gonna bring another, uh, another smaller cutting tray. thinner uh, we got little spoons but those ones are dirty I didn't feel like washing up so ginger right so I'm just gonna peel off the like like that right just peel off the skin on it And ginger is strong, so I'm not 100% sure how much ginger we're going to use, but...
Nice smell. Amazing smell, right? So here's the ginger, right? So, let me get this wipe. Just a little bit more cleaning. I'm not sure if it's a good idea just to cut it up like this or throw chunks in there, but I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it too thin though. Ah, it's okay. We'll do another round. Let's put a little bit in there. Okay. That's the ginger. Let's do turmeric. Here's turmeric. This one. Bigger one. Let's use a bigger one. I'm going to use a bigger one. So, oh, look at the color on that. Awesome. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Now, be careful with turmeric because it stains. Okay. Smell is just beautiful. So, right, beautiful, right, absolutely beautiful. Right, just amazing. And turmeric, amazing for inflammation. And inflammation is something that everyone deals with, right? So, if you're having aches and pains and uh, you have inflammation issues turmeric is an amazing natural medicine it should be part of everybody's diet really turmeric should be part of everybody's diet right just beautiful just beautiful Take a handful. Take a look. Let's see. See that? So just making a layer of that, and I'm gonna put some couple of spoonsfuls of honey on it. Okay. Let me just put this guy over here, and then we'll put garlic, turmeric, ginger again. Repeat, right? All the way to the top.
Thomas. Excellent. Uh, let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy back. Yeah, that's good. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. Uh, uh, this honey. What do I usually eat the honey with? Uh, Marco is asking. Uh, this honey with? This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, but honey, I use yeah, everywhere. Uh, just with toast, with foods, with yogurt, uh, honey and uh, lemon, uh, warm water. Uh, just honey almost every day honey uh, the one Matt first time chat on Twitch uh, hey Chicho one of my favorite videos of yours when you showed some art you had bought at a gallery uh, all by the same guy yeah yeah can't quite remember his name uh, but he did uh, friends with wood yeah 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 wondering if you've bought uh, much artwork sense um i bought some original comic book art pages that we've uh, you can find them in the comic book haul videos um but i haven't bought too much art since then like just uh what do you call it uh paintings and stuff uh, most of my art buying has been comic books in general uh, but I do like those uh, those those ones we bought they were super good super good unfortunately I found out the 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 artist was very pro injections so uh, I have you know I won't be buying anything from him again um, but I did like his work there was another artist that really liked then he was anti-injections anti-mandates and stuff not anti-injections but anti-tyranny and uh, at some point i will buy some of his artwork he does a lot of work with wood uh, beautiful pieces but expensive expensive uh, so i haven't had the opportunity to uh, indulge myself on that level Didn't you do a math video on hanging one of those uh, art pieces? Yeah, 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 yeah. Elder God, for sure. <laughs> Doing measurements and stuff. We got to get back into more math videos, and we will be. Now that I got the word. This one's going to be more garlicky, I think. We see. Nicholas. Uh, also, Miss Balloon Hands. Chicho will be doing relationships stream soon. Plenty of support and good advice there. Yeah, we've done a few of those. I can't remember how many we've done, Nicholas, actually. Uh, but let's say in a couple of weeks, we do a relationship stream. The odds are uh, this coming weekend... Well, yeah, this coming weekend, I won't be doing a live stream, but the following weekend, I think we can set it up or the weekend after, okay? But during uh, the Christmas holidays, we do, we do, okay? For sure. Just enough. All right, just enough. Let's put a couple of more spoonfuls in there. Oh, 
fork. We put three spoonfuls. And more garlic. So this is the last of that bunch of garlic, okay? I've totally missed uh, some discussion going on about relationships and stuff. But Marco P on sensor tube. Uh, what were your thoughts on the COVID uh, uh, vaccinations? Uh, freedom of choice. That was my my thoughts. Oh, left that in there. Uh, we put out a lot of content regarding that Marco P. Some of the stuff we couldn't put on sensor tube. So that should give you an idea uh, what I thought about it. And I 100% supported the Canadian truckers. Yeah, cinnamon honey would be amazing. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, cinnamon honey would be so good. I mean, we're not gonna jar everything. <laughs> <laughs> we went through one, two. This is the third bucket or fourth bucket we're going through. Third bucket, and I got we got six more buckets, so maybe uh, we'll do another honey jarring video uh, in a month or so. has been live for one hour and said so, oh so the so the stream did cut off so it's gonna be two-parter maybe I'll see I'm saving the the video as well hopefully the save version will be good maybe nice yeah I agree with everything Nicholas said pain and suffering is in inevitable it makes us stronger and we learn a bunch about ourselves. 100%, 100%. Mixie on sensor tube. Salutations, welcome to our live stream. Smells amazing, by the way, gang. Cut up some more turmeric. some more ginger I like playing with food this stuff is awesome <laughs> Alex Suviel this is quite satisfying to watch we're making something we're creating something and we're playing around with food like and honey food and honey well food is honey well honey is food okay. 
maybe uh, we'll try to remember to create a couple of smaller jars of these for our yearly auction for next year. Yeah? Sound like a plan? Nice, eh? No, I'm not in the... Well, the good cigar I smoked was... The good tobacco I smoked was uh, a blunt smoking a, smoking our own uh, homegrown tobacco. But uh, I'm not in the smoking season. I'm doing uh, cigar smoking by the season. Uh, so come springtime, I'm going to hit up the cigars again. But for now, staying away from the cigars. Uh, it gives me a break. Uh, make sure I don't get addicted. And... Uh, I don't smoke inside the house, so it's nice uh, during the springtime, just go outside and sit on the patio and have a smoke. Cheryl, Chicho, how do you get your uh, crystallized honey into a runny state? Uh, I had to do this for the cookie recipe I made this weekend, and it uh, looked uh, forward with warm. Uh, it it looked... Uh, it took forever with warm. Uh, what I do is um, uh, the kettle, the way I make tea, the double pot system. Uh, so what I do is, here, hold on to me. I'll show you. Come on. Here, let me show you. Watch this. the staining of uh, turmeric so I do my tea Persian style right I have this on the kettle on the stove top and I put this on top so when I want to liquefy the honey I take this off and I put a honey in a bowl and I put it on top of this and just turn up the heat a little bit if I'm in a rush and it melts the honey, uh, liquefies the honey. Because I, I have tea going the whole time, right? So, and then I put the teapot back on and my warm tea is going, so it's really good. We gotta hit up this other garlic. We gotta hit up this one. <laughs> Nicholas, one of my favorite videos was Chicho Tima. That was fun. That was fun. The one not. As you're a huge comic fan, what are your thoughts on comic movies today? Do you think it's oversat? Oh, for sure, oversaturated, and there's a lot of crap being made. But there's also some amazing stuff being made, right? So it's Hollywood. Like there's some really good stuff, and there's some bad stuff. Uh, like for example, Doom Patrol TV series is really good, trippy, right? A Legion TV series was absolutely amazing, right? Uh, What's a crappy one? Like, we're gonna get, I'm gonna get burned for this, but I thought the Wonder Woman movie, I just watched the first one, I it was boo. I didn't even finish it, I couldn't, we couldn't stand it. Or did we finish it? I can't remember if we finished it or not, right? Watchmen, sorry, Alan Moore, really loved Watchmen. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff. 
Yeah, give it a try, Cheryl. It's good. Reserve mind blown by this method. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> <laughs> nice, the hunt, the garlic is sort of sinking in, settling in. Yeah, Gal Godot is terrible, horrendous, horrendous. Her acting skills are zero, like the worst actor in human history. Like her, her, her look for, for being perplexed was. Her look for being happy was, her look for being uh, about, about to get in a fight was, <laughs> was, her look of eating ice cream was like, <laughs> like brutal, brutal, absolutely brutal, so bad. Uh, the one Matt, Marvel is particular, I feel are good for quality over uh, quantity over quality, which is uh, such a shame. Indeed, indeed. Like some of the more recent Marvel, I couldn't watch them. It was like so bad, so bad. Ah, CTE, those crystal, those ASMR videos about crystals, so soothing, awesome. I love crystals. I lucked out, my partner has a huge crystal rock mineral collection, right? She worked in a crystal store for a number of years. Her collection blows away mine, right? But mine was, a lot of, lot of it was field and it was hands-on, right? I did buy some of it, I guess, but mom and pop places, middle of nowhere. <laughs> which one is Brie? Oh God, which one is Brie Larson? Who's Brie Larson? I don't know who that is. I've never hit a stream before. Oh, uh, Mixy, how are you doing on Sensor 2? I've never hit, never hit a stream before. I've only watched videos of the alcohol making. It's my it's my favorite. Yeah, liqueurs all the way. Magnificent, right? Just magnificent. Look at this. Look, look at the color on that, right? Is it gonna focus? There it is. Nice, nice. The only movies like Nicholas, the only movies that should be watched every Christmas is Home Alone. Uh, black and white movie about the guy. Uh, uh, oh man, I forget his name. Uh, uh, he owns the bank. Uh, Jim, oh man, what's it called? Jimmy Stewart? Jimmy Stewart. Uh, and I forget the name of the movie. What's it called? It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, Elder God. It's a Wonderful Life. What an amazing movie. What an amazing movie. Right? I love It's a Wonderful Life.
you go. Go on. Go on. Let's see, what have we got? We've got three more garlics. We're gonna put them in there. And then finish it off. Okay. Die Hard is really good too. Die Hard is really good, I agree. Die Hard is my Christmas movie. Seeing Hans Grober fall is a mince pie moment. Fun. Fun. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 mofo. Yippee yay yay Christmas pudding. <laughs> Santa is a mushroom, yeah, yeah, yeah. The scan the Scandinavians, eh? And reindeer. Where's the reindeer come from? What's the reindeer connection? Huh? What's the reindeer connection? The reindeer eat the Amanita mascara and they pee it on the they pee in the snow, the snow turns yellow. <laughs> and that pee is uh, filtered Amanita, so it's not poisonous and uh, you eat the reindeer pee. <laughs> Don't eat the yellow snow. Intense. I can't stomach Elf. No matter. Oh, I've never even watched Elf. I've never even watched Elf. Ginger. Turmeric. We did good. We did good. Good. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, good portion. Nice. This looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. So this is gonna ferment slowly. I'm not sure how long it's gonna to take to ferment, but we're gonna be gassing it out. Uh, not on a daily basis, but maybe once a week we'll gas it out. Uh, probably more once we see the garlic fermenting. Okay. Nice. And we got. Check this out. So we use basically. Uh, almost five kilos for these two honeys, two jars. So, so each one is about a uh, two and a half kilos of honey, <clears throat> of honey, right? Straight up garlic, garlic, turmeric, and ginger, right? First time doing this, but it should be very delicious. Huh? Like this it smells amazing, amazing. First time chat. Herp, herp or derp, herp or derp, herp or derp. Hi Chicho, new to the stream. What's in the honey? Uh, this one is just garlic, uh, local, organic, local farm. Bought at a farmer's market. Garlic, fantastic garlic. This one is the same type of garlic and a little bit of another one that we bought locally and turmeric and ginger, uh, fresh turmeric. Here's the turmeric that I cut. I took, took off a chunk of that and uh, ginger. I took a like, chunk off this one that much. And it's basically going to be medicinal for us. It's first time trying it. So we're going to burp it um, every now and then as the garlic foreman, uh, as the garlic foreman's 
right? And we should be able to see the garlic formatting because it should it'll become darker, right? It'll become brown, right? It's like it'll be like this. That oh, my guess, my guess is I don't think it'll go as dark. Well, it might go as dark as this. It should go as dark as this, right? This is like pickled garlic that I eat on a regular basis. It I love it. It tastes amazing, right? Uh, and that's that's sort of like medicine as well as food on a regular basis. Turmeric we use on a regular basis. These ones I think are going to be more medicinal. Okay, uh, more medicinal. The one Matt, do you grow the garden? No, no, we bought it at a farmer's market. We bought it at a farmer's market. Oh my God, is that honey? Indeed it is, indeed it is. And this was just one bucket of... of these guys, right? And we bought, we got nine buckets of these, right? So right now we've basically jarred one, Two, three. Got uh, six more to go. <laughs> we'll probably do during another stream. Okay, during another stream because we've been going two and a half hours for this, right? Nicholas, now I am craving pickled onions. Mmm, delicious, delicious. Is the, uh, in the black jar? In the black jar? In the black jar? In the black jar? Where's the black jar? I don't know. Black jar? No, this isn't the black jar. This is our mic. If that's what you're. Uh, thinking about uh, the one maddie i'd love a good farmer's market harder to come by here uh in the city in uk is it here the, there are some which are really good they're really nice here uh this, it, it used to be way cheaper uh but it's on the expensive side now on this on the on the expensive side now outro time outro time gang thank you very much for being here we got the word from Elder God. We got to do outro, right? And it's late in the UK. Gang, thank you very much for being here. Gang on SensorTube, gang on Rumble, gang on Twitch. If you want to know what this work is about, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely follow the work there. We do have a gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us there. Join our community, share information, talk freely. Okay, talk freely. We are live streaming on Twitch on sensor tube and on rumble and we'll see when we can start live streaming on bitchute and probably kick in odyssey at the same time we'll see we'll see we'll see we do upload some of the audios of these live streams to soundcloud.com as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform we are on twitter minds vk gap uh getter and substack notes and for all of you that are supporting this work gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content i hope you're enjoying life i hope you're taking care of yourself eat well gang eat well read get exercise be happy surround yourself with loving people okay and uh i hope i hope i hope that uh, you enjoy the last month of the year last couple of three weeks of the year okay and for those of you that are supporting this work gang salute for the support and to the mods I hope you have a fantastic next week, couple of weeks probably. We'll be back to do more live streams. Bye, everyone.